He is the founder and CEO of the mobile ad tech startup Silverbush, and he'll be telling us the new rules of maximizing video content monetization. Please help me welcome with a huge round of applause, Mr. Hitesh Chavla. Hi guys, uh, I am Hitesh, co-founder and CEO of Silverpush. So, just to introduce Silverpush first, I'll start with brief, very quick introduction of the company. We started four, five years back uh, in India. We are based in Gurgaon, now headquartered in Singapore. About 100 plus people uh, based in Gurgaon and sales team spread, spread across these different countries. We started by when we launched India's first DSP when programmatic was still uh, a very nascent concept at that time. And since then, we've created products which are very uh, innovation-led. Right now, we are present in 12 countries, uh, very strong in Southeast Asia and Africa and now Middle East. We work with, with clients across different uh, industries, all the top agencies, and backed by some of the best investors, uh, not just from India, but uh, international as well. Now, coming uh, to the topic of today, contextual advertising for videos. So, we all know uh, now users these days have become very uh, conscious about the, their data being used, the way it's being used or the way it's being uh, worried about being misused. And Facebook was under fire very recently because of the Cambridge Analytica scandal. Within a single day, their uh, market cap went down by $50 billion with that scam. Uh, and they were the ones facing the, all the backlash from the consumers and also from the advertisers. Post that incident, 84% uh, of people have actually become concerned about their data being misused. They have changed their behavior using the way they use internet. They've decreased their social media usage. Now, this, this actually puts uh, personalized advertising where a lot of user data is used. Uh, and the whole future of personalized advertising is unclear because of that. People are very angry uh, about the data being used, misused. Then uh, technologies like ad blocker making it hard to track via cookies. Then policies like GDPR making it hard to uh, track user data. So, in fact, uh, the only solution or the next, the, we are actually going back 20 years back or 25 years back when contextual advertising was popular. Uh, people are again talking about contextual advertising where uh, people, where earlier advertisers used context of uh, blogs, context of, uh, context of content to advertise. For example, someone actually browsing a car reviews website might see ads for uh, different autos. Now, all the uh, big ad tech publications, international publications, are predicting that contextual advertising is back or, and will be, uh, again, the next big thing. So since, since we've established that contextual advertising is important uh, in the current context, but le let's just see how uh, consumption of content has changed over, over, over the years, over the years since uh, contextual advertising came into for. Uh, let's see just India first. India has right now uh, 500 million internet users, uh, which is pro projected to grow up to 750 million in the next two years. And this is where digital video is uh, going. In, in last one year, penetration of video has increased from 40% 40, 40 to 50, 54%. And when it comes to content, video is the most consumed content after uh, images and text. And the whole concept of contextual advertising depended on, tech, depended on text earlier. So when people are uh, spending time on videos and images, then how do we make contextual advertising? And uh, since we're talking about videos, these are different ad formats which are popular in videos. The, and these are the ad formats people actually see. Uh, uh, ads which are pre-roll, uh, mid-roll, or post-roll, these are the most popular ads. Then overlay ads, uh, companion ads, but the problem, problem with the overlay ads, for example, is the lack of relevance. Just another other day, I was watching this cat video uh, with my son, and this is the ad we saw. 
uh, which is like totally irrelevant from for what, what they were watching. And this, this just creates uh, frustration not just for the advertiser but also for the users. So then, then, then we come to how, 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 how to detect the context for videos and actually make it relevant for users and for advertisers, of course. So this is, this is where our uh, product mirrors comes in. Quickly, we'll uh, just run the demo. Uh, Sagar, could you please play the video? They knew it back in the 70s and even sang a song about it. And it's a fact. Since the invention of motion picture, we have been enchanted and engaged with video as a format. Daily per capita video consumption is a minimum of eight hours, and global reports predicted video to be the most consumed media format, eclipsing past the current number for static pictures and text. Gradually, the WWW nowadays has started to mean World Wide Webisode, further facilitated by the rapidly growing number of free content streaming providers. These free video content platforms always rely on advertisement for revenues, but advertisers have only eight seconds to get noticed, which is helped by the relevance of the in-video ads in relation to the video content. But the user is interested only in content and tries to overlook the random placement of ads accompanying the video content. Thus, both the advertisers and streaming platforms are plagued by the problem of enhancing users' experience when the in-video ads are displayed. Meet Mirrors by Silverpush. An artificial intelligence-driven context detection technology to identify brand logos, faces, emotions, and objects. Mirrors uses artificial intelligence coupled with computer vision to detect the context in video content and accordingly serve in video ads in line with the advertiser's core communication while enhancing user experience. For example, when Ronaldo scores a goal during a soccer game, our technology detects his face and the brands being endorsed by him can be present in the video ads. Now imagine content showing an interesting model of Vans shoes. Mirrors identifies the brand logo and helps in positioning of an actionable ad, which could facilitate its purchase. Thus, Mirrors is bound to play a huge role in increasing transactions for e-commerce through these actionable in-video ads. Mirrors can also identify objects in the content and help in deployment of ads related to these objects. Point being, with Mirrors, these contextual possibilities are endless. Random placement of ads in videos is not making the expected impact for the advertisers, and since video is the next universal content format, the advertisement industry is facing a huge problem. After years of research and overcoming multiple technological barriers, we present Mirrors to tackle this $170 plus billion dollar problem with artificial intelligence. Mirrors is the world's only contextual advertising platform for videos, backed with multiple patents. With people taking it to the streets for safeguarding their privacy and rights, Mirrors will ensure an ethical advertising solution. Imagine no such processions. You may say we are dreamers, but with 1,000 plus brands in 12 countries, we are not the only one. So yes, that was the quick introduction of our product. Now, just to reiterate what, what the product does, it actually captures whatever is there in the video in real time, uh, everything from whether it's face, whether it's logos, whether it's objects in the screen, whether it's emotions for the actors, all of different uh, things in the videos which are then used in real time to uh, target with ads. Now, for the advertisers, these are the benefits. The ads are viewable, it's in screen, it's where, it's where the actual user's attention is. They're relevant because of the context we're detecting, and it, the ad formats that we create are very engaging. And for publishers, it, it, it means additional ad revenue. Uh, they are still running their other formats of ads, like post-roll, mid-roll, uh, and they get to preserve the user experience by not uh, showing random ads. So this is what uh, Mirrors is. Basically, it's our ad tech technology combined with our uh, detection technology. And using uh, both, of, both of those things combined, we are actually targeting a very huge opportunity uh, for content publishers and con uh, the whole video content uh, industry. Thank you. Any, any questions?
Yeah, even this. Sorry, there's no voice on the mic. <clears throat> Must say, very impressive. Thank uh, you. Great tech. Uh, just wanted to understand: uh, Do we presume that the product that is shown in the mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. is exactly what the consumer would be keen to buy? Uh, I, as in, I didn't understand the so product. So you are spotting which correct. brand or which product correct, category. Correct, so correct. it's object identification and text reading. Right. Right. So you read the logo and the product. Logo, faces, even face, for example, if there's a particular brand ambassador of a brand, they can target the right, right. ads with that. Yes. So let's say I'm a consumer, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I'm watching a show, and that show has been monetized well through mm -hmm. ads being, you know, com brands being placed in the show. Mm -hmm. uh, I've gone to watch the show, mm -hmm. not necessarily the brands in the show. Mm -hmm. So you would again hit me with the same brands. Uh, as in, it, it's like for the brands, there's an opportunity. They can create different moments across, across, uh, in that show. It's not particularly important that that particular show where there are already ads, but it can be anything. It can not not just be brands. It can be faces. It can be emotions. It can be uh, the whole context of the uh, of the of that particular screen. Okay. Okay. Thank it you. Could be a party going on, and we are showing a party ad. So it's not particularly brands there and brands again there. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hi, uh, Hi, I'm Neha and I'm from Myriads. Mm -hmm. And uh, good to know that you're also using AI for your software and sure. the tech that you have. Mm -hmm. uh, the only um, one thing that I uh, that we particularly take care of is mm -hmm. brand safety mm -hmm. when we do contextual advertising, which is actually uh, 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 something which is streamed into the content. Mm -hmm is uh, we totally gate content that is in any way negative mm -hmm. in nature mm -hmm. uh, to ensure that brands, when they do feature into the content, mm -hmm. it, is, uh, it is the best environment for them to be in. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you guys do to take care of brand safety? So similar thing, for example, when we work with the brand, of course, we have to uh, get their brief on what, what's the negative, uh, maybe brands that they don't want to target or particular uh, environment they don't want to target. So the negative list comes from them uh, and based on that basically we create that uh, walled garden. We don't uh, run any any of the, those brands ads in, th in that, those particular context. So that's so, taken care yes, of. Yes, absolutely. Sure, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, fantastic Mr. Chawla, please stay with me. Before I let you go, please stay with me. I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Karan Kumar Gupta, Managing Director, Zerka Digital Solutions, to kindly present a token of our appreciation to Mr. Chawla. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a round of applause for Mr. Chawla? Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen.